Hi, my name is Tom Buglio. I'm the manager of the piano department here at Taylor's Music Store. And uh, I've been here for a long time. Just thinking about it, I think I've been talking to piano customers about pianos for over 40 years. Uh, and one of the questions that I hear most often is, is it best to go with a traditional piano or a digital piano uh, in looking for a piano for your family or for yourself? And in all honesty, they're both great choices. And we carry a piano company that specializes in making just traditional pianos and digital pianos and nothing else. And they're considered to be one of the leaders in the field, and that's the Kawai Piano Company. So we're gonna show off an intermediate level traditional piano that Kawai manufactures, as well as an intermediate level digital piano, and compare and contrast the benefits of both to help you make an informed decision for your family. I'm going to start with the Kawai K200 model, which is a 45 inch tall studio piano. Now, all pianos are the same length because they all have 88 keys. Uh, they differ in height, and that's a way to differentiate the terms for vertical pianos. The very shortest ones, about three feet tall, are called spinets, which are no longer made today. Consoles range from 40 to 43 inches tall. Studio pianos, like the K200, uh, range from 44 inches to 49 inches. They even have taller pianos out there called professional uprights. But the studio piano is the standard in the industry today, and because piano technicians and teachers recommend them for the home. Uh, this is a 45 incher, it's called the K200, and is a very popular piano that we feel offers great quality in a, in a reasonable price range for most people looking for a piano. Now, let's take a close, closer look at what a traditional piano is on the inside and how it works. A piano essentially is a harp with over 200 strings strung and tightened by these tuning pins. This is the iron cast plate and you can see all these strings. As a matter of fact, you'll find that in most notes it requires three strings, three steel strings strung very tautly to produce tone. As you go to the lower areas, strings get thicker, you'll notice that there's some with two strings, and then even in the lowest area, they get very fat and you only need one single string. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the harp itself has to be um, strung on a very, very strong back uh, so that it's going to be secure enough to hold a tune with tremendous tension. Uh, so all piano companies that build a piano that are built to last a long time make a very, very strong back. Because there's a very sensitive area behind the harp that is essential for producing tone, and that's called the soundboard. Let's take a look right here. Hear that echo? That's the soundboard of a piano. That's um, the piece of wood that's slightly curved behind the harp. It's called the speaker of the piano, and that's usually built of sensitive spruce wood and the very best pianos, like Kawai, which uses high-quality um, solid spruce wood, as all the great pianos do for helping produce their tone. But that's what makes a piano unique, too, because there's no two pieces of wood that are exactly alike. So um, every piano has its own personality. Um, and, and even though Kawai does a great job with consistency, you'll find that there's going to be slight differences from one piano to another, even if they're exactly the same model. So that's one of the, the, the unique differences between an acoustic piano and a digital piano, where they're all exactly the same. So let's talk about the pros and cons of owning a traditional piano like this. Number one, as I've already mentioned, the experience of playing a quality traditional piano is, is a wonderful experience. You feel the piano, you hear it, uh, you have more senses involved. It's just kind of an organic experience and very enjoyable to play a beautiful sounding traditional piano. The action, all the moving parts, transfer your touch better on a traditional piano versus uh, a digital piano today. So if you have 
a quality traditional piano. And I emphasize the word quality because there's a lot of mediocre pianos out there then your piano experience will be better on a traditional piano. And that's why all teachers would like to see their students eventually get to the point where they're owning something like this, this Kawhi Studio. In addition to that, the cabinets are made of real wood. Uh, you can see that better on this mahogany piano. So you can certainly add a nice piece of furniture to your home for many years. The longevity of a traditional piano is terrific. You can have a piano that lasts 50 to 75 years, giving you good service, and it can become the family heirloom piano as long as you take good care of it. Those are nice benefits. However, there are some drawbacks too. A traditional piano must be tuned on a regular basis. We recommend twice a year. In addition to that, sometimes you have to fix sticky keys, sometimes the moving parts get out of place, sometimes you have to do action regulation. So there's a lot more maintenance on a piano like this. You're also limited as to where you can put it in your home. You can't put it near a heat source of any kind. Uh, so you have to find a good spot for it that's gonna protect the piano. It certainly is more difficult to move. If you move from one place to another, you need to hire a professional piano mover. Whereas a digital piano, you may be able to move yourself. A new traditional piano is usually more expensive as well. But you know, the benefit is, of course, they last longer. So these are factors to consider when you make your decision. Let's take a look at the digital pianos and see what they can offer you and your family. Today's digital piano has incredible realism in terms of tone and touch. And we feel that the Kawhi digital piano is a cut above. They certainly have the benefit of making traditional pianos, as you know, and so they have a great model to try to model themselves after. Kawhi has been building digital pianos for 30 years. And with their piano know-how, we think the tone and touch is remarkably realistic. The tone is the digitally sampled or recorded sound of their very best grand piano. And they actually surround a grand piano with microphones and record every single note at varying different volume levels with high quality technology. Let's listen. tone. Even though this is not their most expensive piano, it has a great sound system. It has uh, 100 watts of power with four speakers and they use high quality Japanese Ankyo speakers to help produce a very realistic tone. But the other aspect to playing the piano, of course, is the touch. Now we think Kawhi is the leader in the field in giving you a realistic touch. Let's take a look at their key action. The key action on the inside of this piano is actually a wooden key action. This is a good model for you to show what it's like. So first of all, their best pianos have been making wooden key actions for over 25 years. And wooden keys are important because that's what you have on a traditional piano as compared to just an all plastic key. You have much more substance and more control with a wooden key. The way the action works is the back of it strikes up which is similar if you look to an actual grand piano action. So this is modeled after a grand piano, not the upright piano that we played earlier. A grand piano also strikes up from the back. We've had many good musicians come in and play the Kawhi wooden key action, and people who, in many cases, don't like digital pianos feel the Kawhi piano action is a fine piano to practice on. Certainly good enough for most families' needs. Let's look at one of the big benefits that digital pianos have over traditional pianos. Multiple great sounds to play with. For example, if you want to change the uh, mellowness or brightness of your piano, just change the piano voice. That's a brighter piano sound, and we're going to go to warm grand for a mellower sound. How 
How about a nice electric piano for that Billy Joel sound? Great harpsichord when you're playing Bach. And here's a beautiful string orchestra. Now let's discuss some more of the benefits of a digital piano, and then at the very end we'll discuss maybe what would the, the cons would be. So uh, another big benefit of a digital piano is there's no maintenance. You never have to tune the piano. Uh, very few service calls are needed over the course of a lifetime of a digital piano, com especially compared to a traditional piano. Secondly, you can use a set of headphones to kill the speakers and play any time of night or day and not bother anybody in the house. Other benefits include technology, because we have USB connectivity, the ability to do Bluetooth audio, just play your sounds right from your phone through the speakers, which is a lot of, of fun to do. So it offers you those great technology benefits, lack of maintenance, and so forth. What are the possible cons of a digital versus a traditional? Well, a digital piano is not going to last as long. They stopped making parts for digital pianos after about 10 years. And uh, so it's certainly not going to last as long as a good quality acoustic piano. Secondly, although it looks perfectly fine, genuine fake wood. So it <laughs> doesn't have the beauty, maybe, of the appearance of a traditional piano in your home. So there you have it. Some pros and cons to consider when you want to make your decision as to what piano you want to have for your family. They're both great choices. So I recommend that you come up, give us a call and make an appointment. We can take a look at the instruments closer so you can make an educated decision for yourself. Give me a call at 610-696-1812, extension 115, or email me at tom at taylorsmusic.com and we'll be happy to make an appointment for either a video demo or for you to come in and see them in person for yourself, which I highly recommend. Thanks.